All right, YouTubers and LinkedIn people and Xactimate people, Andy McCabe here with Claims Delegates. Hey, I wanna talk about formatting your Xactimate estimates. How many of y'all out there, when you send an estimate to an adjuster or a homeowner, you just hit them with this word wall of items? Not differentiated, not really in any particular order. Do you think that's a problem? Well, I'm gonna show you here in a minute how we can clean up our Xactimate estimates so they read better, so we get less pushback because we're giving a consistent look and feel to the people that are reading our estimates. And ultimately, it just makes you look more professional and helps you get paid. Let's go check it out. All right, let's try this out. Here is a sample room from a sample estimate. I copied an old estimate and took the name off of it. Here's a downstairs bathroom. You just see we down here. We got drywall, paint, sprinkler head. Okay, must be a condo. Uh, HVAC, cleaning HVAC, lights. Anyway, we're bouncing all over the place. Vanity, tile, doors, plumbing. It's it's what I call a word wall. Uh, and my guess is this, this estimate has a couple bathrooms in it. The other bathroom we go into, it's probably gonna look totally different. So let's uh, let's try to fix that, shall we? Let's come in here. All right, here's that room we're talking about here. And here's my templates. We're gonna use this template. So the idea of all of this is is to make sure that you let your clients and your adjusters understand that they're going to get the same thing from you every time. It's going to look the same, it's going to feel the same, uh, and that way you get into a rhythm and you 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 kind of break down uh, the barriers and, and tr eliminating the red flags that might be going up uh, if you show them the same thing over and over and over again. So I just hit this macro and added it down here. So I'm gonna start moving this macro around. Actually, let's move it all up. Let's move it all up. These are things that show up when you do things in the sketch function. You're estimating my sketch. They show up purple here. We don't have any of those, so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. Uh, equipment subs, trades. Let's see what we got here. HVAC, that counts. Let's bring those guys up in here. Do we have any framing in here? Structural components. Any electrical items in here? Okay, don't need it. Cleaning, I did see cleaning. I'm gonna bring all these up here. I want all my cleaning items together, my drywall items together, everything to do with the flooring, I want that together. It, I want it to flow in, in, in an order that makes sense. I usually start floor and goes walls and goes ceilings. People go in reverse all the time. It doesn't matter whatever you're comfortable with. The important thing is staying consistent in, in whichever way you use. What we got here? Wall, ceiling, cladding. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause this. Maybe I'll just speed it up. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to speed this whole section up. Here we go. Here we go. You can see it here. Let's look how this see. Uh, let's see how this looks uh, when we print it out. Okay, so here you have it. Which one of these would you rather read? The one on the left, for yonder. Drywall paint. Something else. HVAC cleaning. Light. Tile. Cabinet paint. Cleaning. Doors. Plumbing. Cleaning. Or HVAC. All the plumbing. You get in a plumbing frame of mind. Are these necessary? Okay. Yes or no. Cleaning, all in the same place. Cleaning frame of mind. Is this necessary? Did we do this? Da, 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 da. Drywall and paint, cabinetry, trim, flooring. What's going on the walls? Oh, shoot. I messed that up a little bit. I didn't see those items down there. Okay, well, word to the wise double check your work. But you get my point. This estimate looks so much easier to read. Uh, it's going to get reviewed faster. All, all good things come from taking the time to organize your thoughts and then organize your estimates accordingly. So, what do you think? Let me know. Take care.